All right, uh, this is a, uh, well, I haven't done a video for a while, so I thought I'd do one here real quick. Uh, this is the latest toy that we have bought. We bought, uh, this is a 98 Mac. Uh, has uh, about 400,000 miles on it. The motor was rebuilt here recently. Um, has a dual wet line system on it. And uh, we got it for a good price. It was from a guy I know. Uh, who is retiring and uh, so we bought the truck and it also came with a trailer the trailer they just completely redone it new cross members new brakes new deck uh, so the trailer well you can see the decks in really good shape uh, so the trailer is a 35,000 pound trailer or sorry 35 ton trailer 70,000 pound trailer it's a Fontaine the trailer is a 2001 um, so we got it for a really good deal. We decided that uh, when we came across the deal here, that we'd probably, uh, uh, probably next year we're gonna trade in our 140 or 135 Kaboko and get something a little bigger with the laws we have here now. Uh, the biggest thing we'll probably be able to get with this to be under 80,000 uh, pounds will probably be a 170 for sure and possibly uh, a 210 size excavator it just depends on what our light weight is here for this truck and trailer uh, we haven't scaled it so we don't know what it's going to be yet and the previous owner didn't know what it was, was going to scale at but um, so that's where we're at uh, so that's it so since we decided that since the truck has a wet line system that we might as well use it so we went ahead and I found a trailer down in Columbus about two hours from us a dump trailer here so we went ahead and bought that and uh it's a uh now the trailer this dump trailer here is a 1990 so it's got a little age on it but it's actually for us it's ideal uh because it's a little bit shorter so we'll be able to get this in uh, a lot of the driveways that we're putting in and you know just tight places the dump bed on it's only 22 foot uh, which is good for us uh, a lot of times when we're dumping height is a uh, is an issue a lot of times so being a little shorter um, we did measure with our bridge span we'll have here depending on what the lightweight comes out at uh, we should be close to somewhere around 23 ton legal uh, according to our bridge span so so we'll find out but uh, but other than that the trailer is really uh, this trailer here is really nice. The uh, only thing, the floor has an aluminum floor. It's not all bent up or anything, but it is getting thin in a couple spots. So we're going to go ahead and just leave it in there. We're going to go ahead and uh, put a 3 16 inch plate bolted in on the bottom uh, and be done with it. And uh, So you can see the tailgate. There's a little gap up there. It's uh, tight at the bottom here, though. I think this side might be up a little bit wider on the side. We had to see they had a rubber piece on that side, and that rubber's gone on this side. So you can see it has a little more gap on it. But uh, tires are all good. This uh, tire here had a wheel seal out, and so they went ahead and uh, replaced that before we had them deliver it up here. So, so that worked out nice. But but yeah, like I said, it's in uh, good shape, and we did get it for a good deal. The the tarp on it. Uh, is not real great. I mean, the you know the arms and everything are it's electric, but the tarp itself looks like it needs replaced. It looks like it's pretty torn up. But uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's what our latest investment has been here. Um, so we'll see. We're just getting ready. We spent the last week on the truck uh, rewiring a lot of the lights because it had an electrical problem, and uh, so we had to do that. And uh, so now we actually. We got that all done, and uh, we're just actually getting ready. We're going to take it on over to our mechanic. He's just going to go over the whole truck for us and service it for us. Uh, just make sure everything's up up, up and up with it, and uh, nothing's going to break right away on us, hopefully. And But uh, see, the cab's pretty nice. It's not all torn up, you know, tear on the driver's seat, which is kind of normal. But, you know, everything else is in pretty nice shape. The floor looks good. Uh, so, like I said, we got a really good deal on it and couldn't pass it up. So, so there's a, what we bought lately here. Uh, I'll try to get some more videos of some other stuff. We've just been kind of busy and doing some odd and end weird things that I haven't been able to 
really take videos of. So, but I'll see you on the next one.